the early excitement to house Ukrainian refugees across countries has come to an end. The refugees now find themselves in hot waters as they have failed to find employment and are incessantly being shown the door wherever they are going. All they want now is to return home. But Zelensky doesn't want them back home. He fears that they may become the source of civil uprising against his dictatorial regime. Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I am your host Ananya Sharma. Let's begin. Until October 25th, the United Nations reported that there were 7.7 million Ukrainian refugees in Europe, including 2.85 million in Russia. Apart from the refugees who flee towards Russia, the rest are facing a nightmare now. The promises of housing and employment made to them have fallen through. The 27 member states of the European Union had accepted these refugees to a degree they had previously deemed unconceivable during the 2015-16 Syrian refugee crisis. However, this temporary protection proved to be futile. Many refugees have been forced to relocate frequently and face hardships instead. Women and children make up the majority of the refugee population and mothers of young children report finding it particularly difficult to find time to apply for jobs or sign up for language classes. Zelensky's government is recommending refugees to delay their return until the next spring. Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister Iryana Vershuk warned, the networks will not cope. You see what Russia is doing. We need to survive the winter. Basically, Ukraine considers the people who fled the country to save their lives as a burden on the government. The warning came following a poll which said that more and more Ukrainian migrants wanted to return home. Despite asking Ukrainians to return only in or after the spring, Vestuk urged them to stop returning for the time being. She said, the situation will only get worse if it is possible stay abroad for the time being. Zelensky, who had portrayed himself in a larger-than-life image, has been exposed in the past few months, starting from the Vogue photo shoot to the increasing corruption charges against the government. Zelensky's image has found itself in a can of worms. Further, the refugees who would be returning back home would demand peace as they are tired of the long war. However, the Ukrainian president has refused to negotiate and establish peace. Many women who left their home have lost their partners and are fuming in anger against the Zelensky government which sent them to fight without proper equipment and supply. The image of Russia being the enemy has been throttled as it is the only one who has taken the most refugees to date. That is almost 37% of them. Did the Western media tell you about these figures? No, right? Realizing that a tragedy may fall upon the government, Zelensky has understood that Ukrainians back home will bring the end of his regime. He understands the fact that his government has sustained only because of the support of the US and his allies. He is drunk on the euphoria of power and therefore is challenging anything that goes against it.